be shown his love because they're in a third world country, so they're not able to receive that type of stuff. The next thing you do, you take it to a drop-off center. You can place the rubber band or band around the box so it doesn't come open. And then the near you take it during National Collection Week, which is November 17th through 24th. So that this year has already passed. And the nearest one, I actually work there. It's because he was ministries in Innocent Hazelhurst, Georgia. It's right on Highway 341. We have a giant sign. You cannot miss it. It's the busiest time for us at the mission store because we have so many churches from surrounding counties like last year, Baxley, just so many places just dropping off their shoe boxes to us so that way we can, and then we send them off to Atlanta so they can be processed. What can you put in your shoebox? You want to, obviously, kids want toys, probably more than anything. You can put dolls, inflatable balls with the pump, because you cannot use a ball if it's flat. You can put little well, stuffed animals, cars, jump rope, puzzles, stickers, and then school supplies. That's a very important thing to put in there. You put pencils with a pencil sharpener. Because if you have a pencil and it's not sharp, you can't do anything with it. Pens, crayons, notebooks, color books, and erasers. Some more things you can put in there is non-liquid hygiene items. You can put bar soap, washcloths, combs, hair brush, toothbrush, toothpaste, and some accessories. You can put hair bows, socks, hats, t-shirts, flip-flops, sunglasses, some of the funner items. Some of the Pop, most popular things for the younger children be blankets, picture books, blocks, and little finger puppets. For the older children, you do small tools, tape measures, sewing kits, fabric squares, fishing kits, solar calculators, rollers, jewelry, and deodorant. The, um, you can actually get a, take a label off of a medicine bottle and put your sewing kit in there, put needles, threads, as long as there's no label on the medicine bottle. What not to put in a shoebox? This is my what not. Do not put any used items in there. That's the big thing. No war-related items, like those little, not even those little army men, you can't put those in there. Like guns, knives, obviously, don't put that in there. You cannot put any chocolate or food in there because this will go bad and you don't want the, if this goes bad or this melts it will ruin your entire box you can't put any liquids or lotions in there but none of this little even though you would think this would be really convenient if it opens there goes your entire box you cannot put any medication or vitamins in there or any glass items because if it breaks somebody will not get hurt this right here is a shoe box that I've packed, and it is for, I'd say, about five to nine little girls, and it's, it's very easy to do. It's little stuffed animals, hair bows, pencils and pens. You can put hard candy in there because it doesn't melt, so this will be fine. Little music, maraca, little toothbrush things. Nail files, washcloth, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, little books, scarf, notes, some more toys. Just really, as long as you don't put any liquid items, war related items, anything that could hurt them, melt, ruin the box, then you're fine. Changing a child's life is much easier than you think. Anyone can pack a shoebox no matter what age. I encourage all of you to pack a shoebox and send to a child, whether it's with your family, your church, or just something you want to do personally. You will always know in your heart that you put a smile on a child's face that you may never get to meet, and that you share the love of Jesus to a child that may never have the opportunity to experience it again. And that is the greatest blessing of all.